Hello? <laughs> Okay, so I just want to be real honest with you. I'm really doing my best to document this process. And I hate everything that I've made so far. I hate everything that I've filmed so far. So here I am. <laughs> but I want to do it anyways. I think that's my main point is I'm really struggling with trying to be perfect and try to like create these awesome videos that people are gonna love and but I think the point of all of this is that you have to start somewhere you know that goes for my van build too like it's not gonna be glorious and awesome and, well it's gonna be awesome let's be real but it's not gonna be like luxurious because it's my first van and it's also like a 1996 so I'm like working with what I got it's so like you have to start somewhere you know and it's the same with making and sharing videos i guess it's like i hope that if i just keep doing it it'll just get better and better i think sometimes showing up is the hardest part and that's where i always have failed in this way i can't even tell you how many videos that i've made but have not posted or how many video ideas that i've had but never followed through Basically, I just want to show up and if that leads to improvement in the future, cool. That would be great. My focus in all of this is the van. It's like I really am just enjoying the van build itself. So I'm trying to think about alongside of doing the van, why I want to create videos and why I want to share my story. And I think my why is to show people how accessible their dreams really are. I've always dreamt of having a van and building in a van. And online, a lot of the times you see people buying these really expensive sprinter vans and doing these like really beautiful, immaculate build outs. If you're interested in van life, we would all love to live in a van like that. Like, let's be real. But it doesn't have to feel so out of reach, you know, as someone who has been traveling a lot hasn't really been in one place to like have a career and make a lot of money I always was like how am I going to bridge that gap of like being where I am and where I want to be and I want to show that you can get there it might just look different than other people do it you might have to reframe it in your mind and just like accommodate to where you're at and I also feel like you just have to go for it sometimes. You can't just sit on sit on an idea and hope that someday it'll just like happen. It's like you have to make the decision to say yes. And that for me was saying yes to buying this van. It's, it, you know, you have to take a risk. You have, yeah, I didn't know maybe there was something dreadfully wrong on the interior of the mechanics of the van. You have to just go for it and you have to reframe it in your mind to make it accessible for you. So for me, it's not a Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a 1996 Dodge Ram van, but I'm having a great time. I also have really struggled in my life with putting myself out there, kind of just out of fear of judgment and fear of what people think of me and stuff like this makes me super uncomfy. But I've noticed that seeing others put themselves out there has helped me get to that place with myself. So it's like by setting yourself free, you're helping set others free. And I wanna show that after all of these years of like suppressing myself, not allowing myself to just like exist the way that I want to exist and put myself out there, if I can do it and if I'm doing it, then so can you. That's part of how you achieve your dreams as well, is putting yourself out there and just going for it. Whew. I didn't mean to talk this much. So yeah, I guess I'll get back to the point of what I'm doing here, which is showing you my van. I'm just going to insert some clips and yeah, let's keep this going, I guess. It's really nasty. like crunchy all 
All right, well, this is what it looks like. It's kind of scary. I guess that's really all they had for the subfloor is just like a little bit of foam. I'm gonna take, oop, I'm gonna take this out next, so. Yep, and I'm also gonna rip this foam up. It's disgusting. There's like sand, dirt, everything all over. This is like another one of those moments where I'm like, what have I gotten myself into? I'm just working with what I got. I'm working around things. Like I'm not taking these driver's seats out because even just taking the two back seats out was like enough work <laughs> for me. So I'll get there. Excuse my crazy hair. Uh, today's been kind of a slow day. I've uh, been kind of like really low energy. I think probably because one, I'm probably really dehydrated. So, let me... okay. Yeah, also, I spent a lot of time out here yesterday and this morning getting all of this carpet out. And I'm realizing what I'm trying to do this afternoon is like, clean the floor and sand it a little bit where it's rusty and just get it ready for putting a new floor down and I'm realizing that that's a bigger job than I anticipated so I'm kind of losing steam really fast because I don't really want to do it <laughs> so yeah not a whole lot to report here today I actually decided this morning kind of on a whim to take the carpet out from underneath these seats too because it was disgusting and it's equally as disgusting under there and I don't quite yet know how I'm gonna cover it but I'm gonna clean it up pretty good and then coming back here I also took the carpet off the wheel wells for the same reasons it was stained and gross and again I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do to cover it but yeah so I also ripped out the back part of the carpet um, in the trunk here because I wanted this to be just like easily cleanable. I did not pull the carpet out from underneath the bench seat slash bed and I'm not even going to take it out at all because it is bolted similarly to how the middle seats were bolted down. You have to go underneath the car to get it off but there's a big piece of metal something i'm guessing it's just covering some of the important car stuff covering these bolts so even if i wanted to get them off i just think it would it's just too difficult so i'm leaving the seat in i'm leaving the carpeting under here thankfully it's been covered most of its life so it's not in bad condition but yeah i'm gonna get back to um sanding and cleaning and getting this floor all ready because there's a long way to go. Ah, uh, this is so weird. Um, <laughs> okay, see ya later. Nope, all right, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. And uh, if you decide to stick around, I'll see you next time.